I would like to introduce any and all to the internet. First, YouTube Daily 3D Vlog. So I actually have quite a bit of things to do today. The, uh, the first thing I have to do is I got to drop off a, an application to, uh, for a guy I work with. Um, see if he is interested in a, uh, an apartment here. After that, we're going to be checking out the farmer's market uh, around town. I believe it's the last one of the season. Also, um, there is in a smaller town around here, um, Harvest uh, Festival going on. And they're going to be having a parade and festivities. And we'll try to catch some uh, footage from over there as well. I just wanted to show you something really quickly here, something that's really appropriate to what we're doing here today. I've seen in the, uh, the Saskatoon pies. What is that at? A Saskatoon is... Uh down here in Montana is known as a June berry or also a service berry. But I spent so much time in Canada and I have a lot of customers who come down. Mm -hmm. uh, I just put Saskatoon because I think it tastes better as a Saskatoon than a service berry. Jam, jams, and jellies. These are the native fruits. And you'll see I have service berry, a.k.a. Saskatoon. So people will know what this So is. essentially uh, what you have here is uh, from different artists and different writers? No, actually most of the writing is from me. I do have some, okay. uh, I started with my own book and like a lot of people do self-publishing. Okay. I found that was most unsatisfactory so I set up my own company and I wrote Spitz, The Cat with an Attitude, it won some national <coughs> awards. So I thought, okay, and then I did another one for a local author, and, uh, oh, you've got to see my Spitz who controls his own attitude. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> and uh, it just kind of grew from there. Just this summer, about a, two or three weeks ago, we released Ant in Red Pants. And that's done in rhyme. Yeah. This is the only book that's totally written by another <coughs> local woman. This is partially written. I co-wrote this one. And that's, that's how I keep my old age <laughs> occupied. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So that's the farmer's market. They only have like about, uh, at least so far, they only have about eight or nine tables here. Not too many. Uh, more in the city, they probably have more at their farmer's market down there. But it gave me a chance to at least see what it was like here. Now next, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a, an, an even smaller town um, here in Montana. But they're having their annual harvest days. And get some parade footage. And I was going to stop by a, a friend's house that lives nearby there. Because I'm going to let him use my laptop. I know what you're saying. You're saying, Rich, why are you letting him use your laptop? <laughs> well, essentially, the laptop is a Dell uh, for back in the fire off. Oh, sorry. It's a Dell from um, my 2003, and for some reason the monitor does not remain on. It develops a little burn mark on the corner of it, and then it turns off. So the only thing that you can use, like with this Dell computer, 
is to have it hooked up to an external monitor. Which he has a Dell too, so his Dell's doing the same thing. But mine is a little bit more stable. And uh, surfing on the internet earlier today, and you know, I can't go you know, with the ESPN 3D and Panasonic's uh, 3D channel, uh, on demand channels available in 3D. They got me asking if, uh, you know, perhaps. Uh, one of the premium channels was going to be available in 3D. I guess uh, Stars already regularly shows 3D content on their on-demand stations, uh, but it's uh, Anaglyph uh, with the red, red and blue uh, 3D glasses. That is not exactly what I was looking for with them. But from what I've read, is that starting in the first quarter of next year, HBO is going to be bringing out a 3D station. And they're going to start it off with a, with a 3D conversion of, um, of Inception, uh, that Christopher Nolan film. Now, of course, it's a, it's a conversion, and I guess that they were talking about doing Inception 3D last summer, but uh, Christopher Nolan, uh, he signed against it and because of all the bad buzz that was happening around 3D, uh, which is warranted with bad 3D conversions. But it is pretty good news, like with HBO bringing out this 3D on-demand station that will show the, the title. Uh, my buddy uh, uh, Enzo here, uh, his YouTube channel is fastest10101. One, zero, one, zero, one. He's going to be following me over and we're going to discuss some things that we can do uh, uh, through YouTube and through different projects. Yeah, he's got his own little toy too. He really enjoys his uh, GPS control. That way he'll be able to always locate my place uh, as soon as we get that set. So we will see what happens. 